Okay, different format for this video. It's where I'm going to pick a question from the Facebook group or from the community forum. That's uh, foxcsscommunity.com. And I'm going to then try and answer it and provide a screen share of the app or whatever it may be, whether it's configuration or whatnot. So get your questions in and uh, I'll try to prioritize the ones that have the most likes or the most upvotes or the most comments, something that would help me prioritize which ones are a really hot topic. So jumping straight into it, I'm going to pick on one that I saw this evening that's a really good question that I don't think I've covered in previous videos. And that was asked by Patrick. Patrick's got a battery system that doesn't have enough capacity to run his home all day due to his heat pumps. Uh, he'd like to move to a time of use tariff uh, for EV charging. Uh, can I program the inverter to charge the battery at the same time and rate as the overnight EV overnight? Uh, can I ask the system to hold charge in the battery until the peak ray evening? Until can I ask the system to hold charge in the battery until the peak rate evening rate? Um, yes, is the answer. So Fox is super flexible. Let me share my screen and I'll show you the Fox app that I've got running in the simulator. So the first thing to tackle that I have covered in another video is how to match your system to the EV charging. So that's really easy. On your plant view, click on quick settings scroll down until you see mode scheduler uh, if this is blanked out and not supported you'll need to get your installer to update your firmware that's becoming less and less of a problem because this feature has been out for quite a while now it's supported on quite a few versions but never any harm in getting on to a later version if you see this not supported if you do see it disabled that's a good sign and that means you can move from the old grid charging settings which are just date and uh, just time settings, you can move to the more uh, comprehensive mode scheduler. So we'll click on where it says disabled. We're going to click on manual schedule. Uh, I've already got a few set up. So none of these, no, none of these are really important. So we're going to delete a few of these. These are from an earlier example. And we'll go back to a fresh. So the first thing is, for an EV tariff. So what you'll want to do if you're on something like an intelligent go or uh, or what else do they do a standard go you'll want to match those settings here. I do it cover it in another video specifically how to do force charging. So I'll do it very quickly again here uh, and we'll say that you're on a standard go tariff which is from 30 minutes past midnight to I never remember if it's 4.30 or 5.30. Let's say it's 5.30. So you've got five hours of cheap rate. You're going to do a force charge. And depending on the timing of this video and when everyone's firmware updates, you may notice there are additional options appearing in this list. But it's the force charge uh, option that you'll want. You want to leave the minimum state of charge on grid to 10. The max, you'll want to set that to 100 because you'll want to fully charge your battery. You might as well set this one to 100 as well because this parameter about force discharge cutoff, that seems to do different things depending on what firmware you're on. So it'll be safe. Might as well set it to 100. Your max power for force charge or force discharge, it also applies to force charging on later firmwares. So we'll set this to your inverter size. You said you had a 3.7. So we'll set it to 3.7 kilowatts. That is our force charge. So we'll save that one and we'll enable it. Now we want to uh, prevent the battery from discharging below a certain amount. So imagine let's just set it up. So imagine you wanted to go from, say, 1.30 in the afternoon right up to the peak rate, which depending on what tariff you're talking about, this could be if you're talking about a flux or an octopus cozy ev tariffs tend to just have one long peak rate all day and it's only cheap off peak overnight but let's imagine that you wanted to to reserve your battery from uh from 1 30 to 5 4 30 there's the that's the bit during the day and it's that's hypothetically say from 4 30 in the uh afternoon the peak rate starts and you want to avoid that so what you'll probably want to do is you'll want to set it to self-use, but you'll want to increase the floor on the, the minimum. 
So imagine you wanted to reserve 50% for the peak crate. You could put 50 in there or 70%. That's not going to let the system discharge below 70% from the battery. Leave the maximum still to 100. Might as well leave the cutoff to the same amount just for consistency. So we'll set that also to 70 as the floor. And let's just set this to the, inver the inverter uh, size as well. Again, this is making lots of assumptions on uh, what inverter model, what inverter firmware you're running. So I'm trying to predict the best settings uh, that could apply. So what we're going to effectively do here is between 1.30 and 4.30 in the afternoon, we're going to not let the system discharge uh, from the battery less than uh, 70%. And that's what we've got there. And then we could set it from 431 because we can't have them overlap all the way through to a minute before midnight. And then we can lower that floor again. So this is now going to set it to self-use so it covers the house loads. We're going to lower that battery floor back down to 10%, leave the maximum at 100. Uh, Leave that one where it is, set the maximum AC, or this doesn't do anything in self-use, I don't believe. We'll set it anyway. Save that, turn these on, and then we have to hit submit to finally program it. And what we've just done is we've told it to force charge during a cheap period overnight. We've told it to hold at least 70% battery during the uh, afternoon, ready for when the peak rate starts in this hypothetical example at 4.31, all the way uh, through to nearly midnight. And that way we're going to lower the minimum state of charge capability of the battery down to 10. And we'll then have at least 70% battery to use through the evening's peak amount, uh, peak period. And then we'll hit submit to make that change. Hope that answers your question, Patrick. Thank you.